refer to this class. Okay, class. So, uh, in the previous video, we have discussed about the four basic components of communication competence according to Little John and Jabosh. And now, uh, these uh, components actually were simplified by um, Shakli Zalabak. And um, they modified this into four easily remembered elements. So, uh, similar lang siya sa kay Little John and Jabosh, but for the sake na mas maintindihan siya ng mga learners, simplify ni Shakli Zalabak into uh, four uh, elements such as knowledge, skills, sensitivity, and values. So, kung makikita nyo, is this is actually uh, just similar to the one presented by uh, Little John and Jabosh. And now, since um, similar lang din yung explanation nila, and sinimplify lang kasi ito, let me just give you a, an example or contextual example which you can easily relate to. So, we have here this slide. So, pagka sinabi kasing knowledge, it is knowing what to do, when to do, and how to do it. Knowing when to keep quiet and know when to stop and knowledge of how to communicate with different kinds of people. Now, for the example, so... I believe many of you is nakakita na ng uh, uh, nakapanood na sa Facebook uh, ng mga motivational speakers kung paano nila kausapin yung audience nila. So, if I will ask you kung how will you be, how will you describe them? So, um, you may actually uh, write down, write it down sa inyong notebook kung ano ba yung characteristics na nakikita nyo or the panood nyo sa mga motivational uh, speaker in terms of uh, delivering their lecture or topic, kung ano man yung message nila. So, uh, in my other classes as well, I also uh, give the uh, same example. And ang mga sinagot nila is in terms of the characteristic ng isang motivational speaker. So, motivational speaker yung ginamit ko na example dito sa topic na to. Kasi for me, upon evaluating their performance. So for me, they are uh, one very good example of uh, a competent communicator and effective communicator. So balikan ninyo yung mga videos na napanood ninyo. Uh, I-recall ninyo kung paano ba magsalita ang isang motivational speaker. Yan. So my students answered na uh, yung tone daw ay biglang, uh, minsan biglang tataas and then biglang uh, hihina na lang. Ganun. So aside from that, kasi nasa, sa, sa, uh, as answered by my uh, students from other classes, so yung mga gestures daw, sinasamahan daw ng hand gestures, saka yung kanilang uh, facial expression, so yun din. Okay, so yun. And uh, ano pa, yung binigay nila na example, yun, may time daw na sila ay bigla nilang hihinto. Ayan, okay. So, uh, for example, meron silang isang bagay na gustong i-emphasize. So, uh, if you can uh, recall or relate, iba, yung mga motivational speaker na yun ang style nila, kung gusto, meron silang gustong i-emphasize. So, lalakasan nila yung boses nila, di ba? And after doon, magpo-post sila ng kaunti. Kasi they will give time for the participants or audience to think over what that uh, motivational speaker uh, has said, okay? So, alam niya when to keep quiet and when to stop. Alam din niya kung kailan niya, uh, lalakasan yung boses niya, kailan niya gagawin yun, at kung paano niya uh, gagawin yun, yung how to deliver a certain uh, uh, message that will actually um, make you think over kung ano man yung sinabi niya. And aside from that, yung mot mga motivational speaker na yan, they also know how to communicate with different kinds of people. And you can observe yung manner nila, how they uh, talk to them is actually uh, in a very respectful and humble way. Kasi uh, syempre yung mga audience niya, halo-halo na yun, may mayaman, may mahirap, may mga bata, may mga matatanda. Kaya, so siya, being a motivational speaker and being an effective and competent communicator, alam niya how to uh, communicate with different kinds of people. And of course, yung communication skills or your, your skills. So hindi kasi lahat 
ay uh, tawag dito na bibigyan ng uh, galing sa pakikipag-communicate. Some init na sa kanila yon ibig sabihin inborn. Yung iba naman is actually learned through experience. So kaya nga dito sa topic na to, inaaral natin how to become uh, competent or effective communication. So yung skills sa sinasabi dyan is yung ability to demonstrate your knowledge in actual situations o kaya ability to uh, express your ideas or uh, thoughts verbally. So yun kasi mostly ang mga uh, challenge sa atin na hindi ganoon kakagaling magsalita. Um, mahirap sa atin to express kung ano yung gusto nating sabihin or yung idea natin. Diba? I, can, I can actually also observe that in class na ang ganda ng idea but uh, hindi siya na-explain ng mabuti. Hindi siya na-express ng mabuti because we lack uh, communication skills. So yun. The, yung mga competent com- communicator na yan sa actually has a skill and sensitivity ito yung sinasabi natin kanina na pagka sinabing sensitivity is kailangan mong uh, tawag dito um you must uh, actually be sensitive to the consequences of the communication choices that you make like for example halimbawa here's a uh, in invite ka sa isang training na at lalaki ka in invite ka sa isang training na ang resource persons mo ay matatandang Uh, dalaga na araw-araw nagsisimba. Ayan. So, ikaw kasi you failed to actually know muna yung audience mo and you uh, and you uh, actually drop a green joke <laughs> dun sa grupo ng matatandang dalaga na religyosa na yan. So, you did that kasi hindi mo inalam yung background mo. Of course, ano yung magiging first hand reaction nila, di ba, doon sa pagbigay uh, mo na isang green joke. So, hindi mo alam kasi ng mga religyo, religyo sila, akala mo sila, akala mo ay mga, uh, ang tawag dito, mga open-minded na individuals, but uh, eh, it turned out na sila ay mga conservative uh, people. So, with the siyempre, it is actually, obviously, an... Uh, Uh, mistake or uh, an error uh, that you commit and sabi dito kailangan kang maging sensitive sa consequences ng mga communication choices mo. So given that is uh, dapat in the end is huwag kakaroon ka ng value sa so, yung tinatawag natin ethical responsibility na given na nag-commit ka ng ganong kasi ng mistake so so next time uh, of course you should have a commitment to improve your Uh, delivery communication styles or maybe siguro yung in terms of preparing para dun sa uh, group of audience or participants mo para of course yung mga, yung mga mistake na nagawa mo before uh, will not be repeated next time ulit na ano, na-invite ka na resource person so kailangan mo siyang um, paghandaan and if ever na ang tawag dito uh, makapag, makareceive ka ng negative feedback regarding your performance as resource person so kailangan mong uh, itake siya positively And yung negative comment na yun, gawin mo siyang inspiration for you to improve further your communication skill. Okay? So, uh, commitment to better communication, sabi nga niya. Well, so, yun. This is actually the last slide and the last uh, topic for this uh, unit. And I hope that all of the videos I have prepared for you will uh, be watched by everyone para masagot yung mabuti yung exam. So, kasama yan, yung pinakamarami na part actually is parts 4 to 5. Itong uh, huli in-upload sa Google Classroom. So, so uh, I, I already asked someone to uh, take over uh, the exam uh, tomorrow. I asked someone to serve as your doctor. So, Um, I hope ay makapag-exam uh, lahat, so, makasabay ang lahat sa examination kasi I've heard that next two weeks will be online na naman. Okay, so yun lang and uh, good luck.